Aluminium gets an upgrade from Morgan Stanley. The firm boosting the stock to overweight from equal weight, noting, quote, GM may be over earning, but the stock is oversold. So General Motors is destroying Ford and Stellantis. The tables are turning and it's sending shockwaves across the industry. This isn't just a one-off story about one company doing better than its rivals. It's a full-blown saga of innovation and strategy. What exactly sets General Motors apart from its competitors? And what does this mean for the future of Ford and Stellantis? What's happening? General Motors has recently made waves in the automotive world with its impressive earnings report for the third quarter of 2024. Bucking the trends seen in a challenging automotive landscape, General Motors managed to surpass Wall Street's expectations and showcase a level of resilience that's no small feat. Now, let's dive into the numbers that turn to heads. General Motors' third quarter earnings were not only commendable, they exceeded what analysts had originally forecasted. The accomplishment marks a pivotal moment for the automaker, revealing a robust operating model that's making waves in the industry. This remarkable performance isn't just by chance. It's due to strategic moves that have allowed General Motors to effectively navigate market fluctuation, setting it apart from its competitors, particularly Ford and Stellantis. What exactly are these strategies? Well, let me break it down for you. But before we dive into that, make sure you have liked this video and subscribe to our channel. The Inventory Revolution one of the standout factors that has significantly bolstered General Motors' performance in the competitive automotive market is its impressive inventory management, especially when compared to key rivals like Ford and Stellantis. This refined efficiency is particularly evident in General Motors' Chevrolet lineup, which has consistently maintained the lowest day's supply of new car inventory among major automakers. By keeping tight control on its inventory levels, General Motors is not only speeding up vehicle sales, but also ensuring that production is closely aligned with with real consumer demand. This strategy leads to lower carrying costs and mitigates the risks associated with holding excess stock, marking a vital advantage in a fiercely competitive industry. As we dive into the numbers, let's talk about what day's supply really means. For instance, as of October 2023, General Motors reported a day's supply of around 57 days for Chevrolet vehicles, while its luxury Cadillac brand was able to report an even more impressive figure of just 57 days. To put things into perspective, Ford was sitting at a much heftier supply of 90 days, and Stellantis topped that with a staggering 111 days. This substantial disparity showcases General Motors' remarkable ability to sell vehicles more efficiently and quickly than its competitors. When you consider that the average industry benchmark for day's supply hovers around 60 days, a commonly accepted optimal level for maintaining a healthy balance between supply and demand, the numbers yield compelling insights. General Motors' figures are not just about Sheer volume. They suggest a powerful alignment with market trends and consumer preferences, indicating a strong sales performance that many other automakers would envy. So what does this low day's supply truly reflect? It's a clear indication of General Motors' responsive approach to consumer preferences. Take popular models like the Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban. These full-size SUVs are flying off the lots, and their inventory levels are even below 30 days. Such swift turnover not only points to high demand, but also highlights General Motors' adeptness in meeting consumer needs while deftly avoiding the common pitfalls associated with overproduction. After all, overstock can lead to markdowns that significantly diminish profitability, a situation General Motors skillfully sidesteps. A key element that General Motors excels at is minimizing carrying costs. What does that mean in simple terms? Well, carrying costs are the expenses linked to holding unsold vehicles. If a company has too many vehicles sitting unsold on their lot, it incurs increased costs related to storage, insurance, and depreciation. Plus, when stockpiles build up, it often compels companies to reduce prices to stimulate sales, which can ultimately eat into profit margins. General Motors' streamlined operations, focused on maintaining a lean inventory, position it to enhance profitability and alleviate the financial strains typically associated with excess stock. This efficient handling of inventory starkly contrasts with the challenges faced by competitors like Ford and Stellantis both of which have encountered significant overstock issues. For instance, Ford's F-150 pickup truck had a day's supply that climbed to 97 at the beginning of October, indicating a slower sales cycle relative to production. Stellantis has not fared much better, particularly with models like the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which has seen surplus inventory levels that would likely necessitate price reductions, an outcome that can seriously impact profitability. The Electric Frontier 
General Motors has made strategic decisions centered on producing models that not only meet market needs, but also generate impressive profits. The Chevrolet Silverado pickup remains one of General Motors' top sellers. Despite experiences of having a comparatively higher inventory level of around 90 days, it consistently turns a solid profit owing to its higher price point compared to many of its smaller counterparts. Another vital strategy in General Motors' successful inventory management strategy is its thoughtful approach to production locations. For instance, the Chevrolet Trax, which has recently enjoyed heightened popularity following a revamp, reports an impressively low inventory supply of just 33 days. This model is manufactured in South Korea, allowing General Motors to sidestep any disruptions associated with domestic production, such as labor strikes. It's an example of how a company can leverage its global manufacturing capabilities to underpin its inventory strategy effectively. Let's also talk about how General Motors tailors its inventory management strategies around evolving consumer preferences. When you consider the modern consumer, trends are shifting quickly. Buyers are increasingly looking for vehicles that not only meet their practical needs, but also resonate with their desires for features, technology, and sustainability. General Motors recognizes this and has gone beyond merely keeping production aligned with current demand. They've also been actively engaging with consumer desires, often adjusting their production focus to spotlight popular and profitable models. This ties nicely with their foray into electric vehicles. As the market shifts away from traditional gas-powered models and consumers hunger for innovative solutions that address environmental concerns, General Motors has stepped up its game, making significant investments in electric vehicle production. The insight here is clear. Staying ahead of the competition means understanding where the market is headed and adapting accordingly. Effective inventory management is more than just a back-end operation. It significantly influences General Motors' stock performance and capital allocation strategies in the automotive market. By keeping optimal inventory levels, General Motors enhances its operational efficiency, fortifying its financial standing and paving the way for strategic investments in key initiatives like share buybacks and electric vehicle development. Stock performance. When we talk about the influence of inventory management on stock performance, the first thing that comes to mind is operational efficiency. General Motors' commitment to effective inventory management has a direct correlation with its profitability, which is no small feat in the fast-paced automotive world. Maintaining a lean day's supply of inventory, averaging around 50 to 60 days, is crucial as it empowers General Motors to adapt swiftly to market demands without falling into the trap of overproduction. This agility minimizes carrying costs and dramatically reduces the risk of having too much unsold inventory, which in turn safeguards the company's profit margins. Let's illustrate this with a few numbers. General Motors' finished goods inventory turnover ratio consistently hovers above an impressive 12 times. What does this mean for you as an investor? It shows that the company has a robust ability to convert its inventory into sales efficiently. Such a high turnover rate can be a boon for stock performance because it signals to investors that General Motors is effectively managing its resources and generating substantial revenue from its assets. When you see these figures, it's hard not to feel optimistic about General Motors' trajectory. The way investors perceive General Motors is another essential piece of the puzzle. Effective inventory management often acts like a beacon, signaling to investors that this is a well-run company capable of navigating the inevitable fluctuations of the market. General Motors' proactive approach to aligning its production with consumer demand not only boosts investor confidence, but can also trigger increases in stock prices. Essentially, a solid inventory management strategy reassures shareholders that the company faces a minimized risk of liquidity issues or financial distress linked to unsold vehicles. No one wants to invest in a company that seems to be struggling right? So these strategies are paramount in maintaining a positive market perception. Capital Allocation Strategy General Motors' approach to inventory management helps them avoid the pitfalls of overstocking. Think price cuts and a tarnished brand image. By keeping a tight rein on what's on the lot, General Motors can maintain more stable stock prices. A steady stock price is inherently attractive to investors since it lessens perceived risk, as General Motors continues to put up strong sales figures backed by effective inventory control. This risk rhythm can lead to increased investor interest, driving stock valuations even higher. Now let's flip the coin and talk about capital allocation, particularly regarding share buybacks and investment in electric vehicles. General Motors' strong financial performance
balance gives the company the breathing room to implement a balanced capital allocation strategy. This strategy is smartly designed to prioritize both investing back into the business and returning value to shareholders. Recently, General Motors announced a whopping $5 billion share buyback program in quarter 3, 2024. This statement isn't just corporate fluff, it reflects their confidence in generating enough free cash flow, approximately $4 billion just in that quarter, to support these initiatives. But why is free cash flow so critical? Well, it serves as the lifeblood for any corporation, allowing companies to reinvest in innovation and expansion without leaning on external financing sources. General Motors' adeptness at maintaining high levels of free cash flow while simultaneously pushing forward with new technologies positions them favorably for long-term sustainability. In stark contrast, Ford's negative cash flow during the same period raises red flags about its liquidity and ability to fund future projects without racking up additional debt. It's a delicate balancing act that General Motors seems to have mastered while Ford fumbles. For instance, General Motors' inventory turnover rate is an impressive 2.37 times for the three months ending June 2024. This figure suggests that General Motors is effectively converting inventory into sales at a far healthier rate compared to industry standards. On the flip side, Ford has found itself struggling with higher days supply figures, averaging around a disconcerting 90 days. This not only indicates slower sales, but also raises concerns about potential overstock issues that could lead to undesirable price reductions. Let's delve into the numbers. General Motors has pledged an impressive $35 billion toward electric vehicle investments through 2025, with plans to launch multiple new electric models across its various brands. By managing inventory wisely, General Motors is in a position to free up capital from its operations that can be redirected toward these critical investments without jeopardizing financial stability, of course. It's all about balancing those plates. Having a robust balance sheet is another crucial aspect of sustaining long-term growth and resilience in the face of economic challenges. And guess what? General Motors' effective inventory management plays a pivotal role in supporting a healthy balance sheet by minimizing excess liabilities related to un sold inventory. This prudent approach not only bolsters liquidity ratios, but also makes it that much easier for General Motors to secure financing for future projects or navigate unforeseen challenges. As of third quarter 2024, General Motors proudly reported total assets exceeding $240 billion, coupled with a debt-to-equity ratio of approximately 1.2. What does that tell you? It indicates a manageable level of debt relative to equity, a solid financial footing allowing General Motors to pursue aggressive growth strategies strategies without losing sleep over debt. Investors in turn feel more comfortable placing their bets on a company that demonstrates such financial resilience. Quality Concern the importance of quality in fostering brand loyalty cannot be overstated, especially in the competitive world of automotive manufacturing. General Motors has established itself as a titan in this arena, thanks to its unwavering commitment to quality and reliability. This dedication significantly shapes how consumers perceive the brand and cultivates robust brand loyalty. Why does this matter? Because loyalty is crucial for maintaining a strong market presence. Customers who are satisfied with their purchases are more likely to come back for more. General Motors' stellar reputation isn't just built on promises, it has been validated by numerous accolades, including the overall loyalty to manufacturer award from S&P Global Mobility. Remarkably, General Motors has clinched this award for eight consecutive years, an impressive feat that underscores a high retention rate among General Motors customers. This achievement indicates something critical. Once consumers decide to buy a General Motors vehicle, they are likely to stick around within the brand family for their future automotive needs. Needs. However, not all brands enjoy this level of consumer trust. Take Nissan, for instance. The automaker has faced substantial challenges concerning consumer perception, particularly due to well-documented issues with transmission reliability in popular models like the Nissan Altima and Rogue. These reports of transmission failures have severely tarnished Nissan's reputation. It has led to a notable decrease in both sales and customer trust. Imagine being in the shoes of a Nissan owner told by friends about the troubles others have had. No wonder some consumers express a dissatisfaction. This direct correlation between reliability and consumer attitudes illustrates how quality can profoundly affect brand loyalty. While General Motors thrives on a loyal customer base built on consistent quality, Nissan's struggles have taken a toll on their brand perception and market share. 
Yet, while General Motors basks in the glow of its current quality reputation, it's essential to recognize the lurking long-term quality concerns that could pose risks for models like the Chevrolet Trax. As new models debut, any emerging reliability issues could undermine the consumer trust that General Motors has painstakingly cultivated over the years. The Chevrolet Trax is positioned as an affordable and approachable entry-level SUV, which means that it must uphold its high-quality standards to avoid falling prey to the very pitfalls that have ensnared other brands. Let's turn our eyes back to Nissan as a case study. Their transmission problems are a telling example of how past quality concerns can leave lingering scars on brand perception. Even though Nissan has taken steps to address these issues via recalls and engineering improvements, the damage to their reputation remains. Many consumers are still wary of purchasing Nissan vehicles, fearing similar problems might rear their ugly heads. The question for General Motors becomes, if it were to encounter its own reliability issues with models like the Trax or others in its inventory, could it face a similar erosion of consumer trust and loyalty? That's thought worth pondering. Now, let's dive into the emotional side of branding, a powerful strategy that General Motors leverages to engage consumers. General Motors has effectively forged an emotional connection with its audience by promoting values of strength, capability, and Americana. This emotional tug is especially effective in marketing campaigns that resonate deeply with consumers' identities and aspirations by portraying its vehicles as symbols of freedom and adventure. Qualities often associated with the American spirit, General Motors presents a narrative that consumers not only identify with, but also yearn to be part of. Brand perception, as we know, plays a critical role in shaping consumer decision-making, often overshadowing even financial considerations. In an era rife with rising costs and economic uncertainty, many consumers continue to stick closely to brands they know and trust. Studies have shown that some customers find themselves taking on additional jobs or making sacrifices in their daily lives just to maintain payments on their beloved General Motors vehicles. This phenomenon powerfully illustrates the grip of brand loyalty. Consumers will do what it takes to stay connected with the brands they love. Anecdotal evidence highlights this further. Individuals who drive General Motors vehicles frequently report high levels of satisfaction, and many are eager to recommend the brand to others, even if it means stretching their budgets or incurring debts. Imagine the emotional climate. You feel pride just driving a General Motors vehicle, making you more inclined to share that experience with friends and family. Plus, General Motors' reputation for quality reinforces this behavior. When consumers feel they can rely on the durability and longevity of their vehicles, it nudges them toward investing in their chosen brand, regardless of any financial pressures lurking in the background. A new era. The electric vehicle sector is experiencing an incredible transformation, one that's packed with challenges and bursting with opportunities. General Motors is at the forefront of this evolution, zealously pushing its electric vehicle initiatives forward. But hold on, it's not a smooth ride. They're up against fierce competition from both legacy automakers and ambitious new players entering the fray. As the landscape shifts, General Motors' CEO, Mary Barra, isn't just sitting back. She's outlined a bold vision for navigating these tricky waters while ensuring that profitability remains firmly within reach for the electric vehicle division. At a recent investor event, Barra didn't sugarcoat the hurdles. She openly addressed the fact that the transition to electric vehicles hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. Adoption rates have lagged behind expectations, and supply chain issues continue to plague the industry. Yet General Motors is all in on the electric vehicle future. They're determined to make their electric operations financially viable. She pointed out something critical. The profit margins on General Motors in internal combustion engine vehicles are still going strong. This financial cushion is essential as they ramp up electric vehicle production, allowing them to navigate the bumpy road towards electric profitability. It's a strategic move, understanding that thriving in the electric vehicle market requires meticulous resource management and sharp inventory control. Let's talk specifics. General Motors is laser focused on cutting down battery production costs and boosting operational efficiencies. Barra shared that General Motors has set an ambitious target to achieve positive variable profitability for its electric vehicles by the end of 2024. This is not just a financial target, it represents a major shift toward a more sustainable business model. Given the volatile nature of raw material prices and the relentless competition from automakers heavily investing in electrification, this commitment is essential for General Motors' future success. Competitors' Strategies 
Ford and Stellantis are not sitting idly by while General Motors plays its cards. They are making strategic moves to improve their standings in this rapidly changing automotive landscape. Both companies are prioritizing affordability, managing their inventories with greater finesse, and expanding their electric vehicle selections to better align with shifting consumer tastes. Ford in particular has realized that it needs to streamline its operations. They are hunting for ways to cut production costs and optimize inventory management to stay in the game. Let's not kid ourselves. Models like the Mustang Mach-E and F-150 Lightning have stumbled when it comes to profitability. So Ford is recalibrating, adjusting their production targets and the timelines for rolling out new electric models. Interestingly, recent reports suggest that Ford is leaning toward hybrid vehicles as a temporary bridge while they ramp up fully electric offerings. This calculated approach keeps consumer interest peaked even as they navigate the complexities of the fully electric landscape. Stellantis is taking a slightly different Tack. They're employing a dual strategy, enhancing their existing internal combustion engine lineup while aggressively investing in electric vehicle technology. Over the next few years, they plan to launch a slate of new electric models with a keen eye on affordable options that cater to value conscious shoppers. They're not just stopping there. Stellantis is also intensely focused on upgrading their battery technology and improving supply chain management. Why? To cut costs and elevate vehicle performance. By diversifying their offerings and putting a premium on affordability, Stellantis is eyeing a larger slice of the electric vehicle market pie. Both Ford and Stellantis are adapting their strategies in this dynamic environment, but let's be real, they're facing monumental challenges in matching the profitability General Motors anticipates. Meanwhile, General Motors is steadily refining its approach, investing in battery production and enhancing manufacturing flexibility. This positions General Motors not just as a participant in the electric vehicle race, but as a formidable competitor, one that could very well dictate the future of the electric vehicle space, leaving competitors to scramble in its wake. Future Outlook Looking ahead, there's a swirling cloud of speculation about General Motors' long-term market position. The big question looms, will General Motors' current strategic advantages withstand the winds of change as consumer preferences evolve? In an automotive landscape that's quickly tilting towards electrification, General Motors' knack for adaptability will be the crucial factor that helps it maintain a competitive edge amid shifting tides. Analysts are buzzing with optimism, pointing to General Motors' laser focus on building a diverse portfolio of electric vehicles as a game changer. Combine that with a hard-won reputation for quality and suddenly finds itself in a favorable position against rivals. The company has made serious investments in domestic battery cell production and boasts flexible assembly capabilities. This means General Motors can pivot quickly in response to consumer demands without throwing costs out of whack. Plus, General Motors' proactive stance on potential supply chain hiccups shows it truly understands the tangled mess that is electric vehicle manufacturing. Manufacturing. They are not just in it to win it, they're preparing for the unexpected. Yet here's the kicker, challenges are lurking just around the corner, ready to pounce. Consumer preferences are shifting at breakneck speed. While excitement around electric vehicles is palpable, many people still cling to the twin pillars of affordability and practicality. That relentless focus on price and usefulness over advanced tech could push General Motors to reevaluate its pricing strategies and revamp its product lineup to match what buyers are really looking for. On another front, regulatory pressures are about to ramp up. Governments around the world are tightening the screws with stricter emission standards while simultaneously rolling out incentives to nudge electric vehicle adoption. General Motors pledged to transition away from internal combustion engine vehicles by 2035 aligns perfectly with these global shifts. But here's the twist. Navigating this transition will require a steady stream of innovation and an agile response to the ever-changing marketplace. Industry experts weigh in, highlighting that General Motors' capability to keep its profit margins rolling robust on internal combustion engine vehicles during this transitional phase could be the lifeline it needs. This financial stability will be crucial as General Motors heavily invests in its electrification efforts. Balancing a strong dual focus on both internal combustion engine and electric vehicle segments might provide General Motors the necessary resilience to withstand potential downturns in the electric vehicle market, all while strategically positioning itself for future triumphs. Ultimately, the stakes are high. General Motors' journey isn't just a race 
towards electrification. It's a tightrope walk over ever-changing consumer desires and regulatory landscapes, all the while hoping to maintain profitability. The path forward is riddled with uncertainty, but if General Motors plays its cards right, it could emerge not just as a contender in the electric vehicle arena, but as a leader carving out its own legacy in this brave new world of automotive innovation. What comes next? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, the drama is just beginning, and we're all here for the ride.